the world and them that are not serving God. But us that serve God, we don't have nothing to worry about. We're going to see things right. if God moves <coughs> in his word that I believe it says that the men of all desire to see what we're going to see today. But he that has the ear has to listen, has the eye to see what's going on. I mean, that says that in the verse. And, and I say that because in, in, in the New Old Testament, God made sure the water was covered. We live by three elements. And by the three elements, he made sure the water was covered. And who did he do that by? Noah. If it was not for Noah, none of us would be here today. But Noah found favor. So he made sure the water was covered. And the water is the spirit of God. The water is what we have to have in order that we can grow in the Lord. And the second dispensation that came along is he made sure that the earth was covered and taken care of. And what is that? He let Moses wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Noah floated on water for 40 days and 40 nights. And so when Moses walked on the, on, on the wilderness, it says their shoes didn't wear out. Their clothes didn't wear out. That lets me know that whatever's going to happen, God's going to take care of us. And then, then as it goes on, then it says, what about the air? That's a third element. And that third element is the air. But that was covered when Jesus, praise God, hung on the cross. Amen? Ooh, that ought to make you shout. <laughs> because he covered the air that we breathe. We cannot live without it. And I, I thought about that because this past week Water, yeah. I had to go to Oklahoma City, a family call, and a young lady was on a respirator. They were getting ready to take her off of it, and uh, that was keeping her alive. And the family asked me to come, and so I took my Mariah with me. And we got there, and, and I, I thought she was gone. I, I, I didn't see no life in her. But as we went and sat and visited with the family, and we prayed, I called two days later because I expected a call any time to say that she had passed on. And when I called to see if she was all right, do you know that God worked the miracle and she's still hanging on there <laughs> and she's still fighting for her life? Boy, I tell you, I got happy. I told my, my granddaughter she goes with me and we pray. And I said, baby, you're not going to believe this. You know, we believe and have faith that God's going to do things. And then when he actually does it, our mind and our eyes, is, wow, did he really do that? Is she really going to live? I pray and we all pray. You know, wow, we're, we're shocked. You know, we're surprised. And we should know what God's going to do. Amen? Yeah, sure. I, I, you know, me and, and, and Billy, we were, they asked me about white church, and, and he wanted white church. And, and when I talked to the presbyter, I said, this isn't a competition. God's going to put in who yes. he wants. Amen? Yes. And I said, God's going to use who he wants. And as I began to listen to him, he had a vision for the church. Now, what does the Bible say? If you don't have vision, what? It will perish. And I said, God, it's not that I didn't have a vision, but I owe it's only 80%. Okay, I'll take it to somebody else. But he had a vision, and he knows what he wants to do. And when he's getting ready to move in that area, I believe God's going to do a mighty work because we're living in a time that God is going to let us see signs and wonders. Amen? Oh. <laughs> but I believe that God is fixing to do something. <clears throat> and so when you got all the three covered, you know, that, that made me begin to look and to realize in Zebaniah, he said, I'm going to call him and I'm going to give him a pure language. And what is that pure language? From Genesis to the Babylon, they had one language and that was the language of God. And only God changed that language because of sin. Amen? There was the sin there. And so he changed that language. And so that all through this time, we have been confused by the language. Amen? And I'm not talking about German. I'm not talking about uh, French. I'm not talking about Cheyenne or, or Kiowa. I'm not, but I'm talking about a language 
and and I'm not picking on you. And if you're that that of that denomination, you know, I'm not saying against you. But what I'm saying is that we have talked a strange language of being a Baptist, of being right. a Methodist, <laughs> of being a Catholic. We had a strange language. Amen. Amen. And, and the beliefs 